Well, gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. I've been saying for the past few months that the climate agenda is their next step after this, you know what, (coughs) nonsense. And I guess I can't talk about it anymore. How these parasitic psychopaths in control of the mainstream media also control the weather and will use it to enact their new world order fantasies. They did an entire media blitz to let everyone know what the deal is. And my videos mentioning climate were already heavily censored. Now I'm assuming they would just be completely demonetized or taken down. That might tie into the Facebook, Instagram outage earlier this week. Some type of excuse for more censorship and regulation of the internet. But we already knew that was coming. China doesn't even allow its citizens to communicate via the internet. All of those social media platforms are banned. Facebook, Instagram, even Gmail do not exist in China. Even with complete control over everything, being able to ban people, delete comments, censor stuff, they still didn't want a tiny morsel of truth slipping through the cracks. Google announced Thursday that it would no longer allow ads or monetization for content that promotes climate denialism. The policy change will apply to publishers, advertisers, and YouTube creators who will no longer be able to make money from content that contradicts well-established scientific consensus around the existence and causes of climate change. I mean, at what point is it so obvious? when no one can question any element of the mainstream narrative and very specific topics are even shunned like this one. As soon as they can't keep the public in their homes from their fear of getting sick, (laughs) they'll just say, hey, you can't drive your car five miles because you're gonna destroy the planet. I wonder who's gonna keep track of all these billionaires flying their private jets. Hey, they can police themselves. You know, it's funny, I was reading some posts yesterday about how people in Finland are fined based on their income. Like, so instead of receiving a $50 parking ticket, if you're a billionaire, hypothetically, you get a $100,000 parking ticket. And the people in the comments were like, oh, I support this, I support this 100%. Yeah, really? (laughs) They they hide all of their income in offshore accounts and they don't pay taxes. You you think they're going to tell the truth about their income? It's fucking comical. It's fucking comical. The main point that I I need to make a whole video on it is that these people are liars. They're lying to you. The average person has the moral standing that, oh no, they would never lie to me in the news. How can the news be lies? Google's new policy takes a strong stance on false claims about the climate crisis. But social networks have only just begun to reckon with their role in disseminating climate-related misinformation. YouTube has also proven notoriously slow to introduce new rules designed to stop the flow of misinformation in the past on other issues, including false claims about the U.S. election. Ultimately, the policy is an improvement. All platforms should build out robust rule sets around the accelerating existential threat to humanity. But new rules will only make a dent in the misinformation ecosystem if they're aggressively and consistently enforced. I mean, I'm sick of this garbage. The hypocrisy in all of this is insane. Mainly with the cryptocurrency pushing. I said a few months back they were going to use the climate as an excuse to crash crypto, which they coincidentally did one week later. Like you have China literally throttling people's electricity and people are mining these crypto coins. How are they able to play both sides so foolishly? Create the notion that using large amounts of power, electricity is bad for the environment, yet they keep pumping up these crypto Ponzi schemes that have server rooms full of technology consuming precious metals that produce enough heat for every homeless person on this planet to be comfortable through the winter. You can't have both. You can't be telling people that climate change is real, stop eating red meat, when the new world order currency is a digital asset that requires more environmental resources. I'm not saying either is true. It's all nonsense. I'm just pointing out how they are logically incorrect. You know, the last thing these people want is for us to live on our own without technology like the Amish. And and that doesn't mean, you know, we're going back to like tribal stuff, running through the woods, killing each other. It's more like the the civilized societies in uh, Weston Price's book, Nutrition and Physical Degeneration, 
where everyone worked, you know, a set amount of hours every day to have food for themselves, to have shelter, and they lived very happy and healthy lives. But no, they want to round us up into new world order smart cities and, and control our thoughts through everything. But that's enough. I mean, I know you guys understand the censorship is just getting crazier and crazier and crazier. It, it's unreal. You, you can't talk about anything anymore. You really can't. And the only people that touch these topics are the controlled opposition. You know, it, it's ridiculous. People, they're getting hundreds of thousands of views. They're stealing people's money, pretending to be on their side. And it, it, it's absolutely disgusting. I've had enough of it. It's part of the reason I want to take a long break from this because I can't really take it anymore. You know, something keeps coming up in my head. There's, there's the right decision and there's the wrong decision. And uh, these people in charge have made the wrong decision every step of the way. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. If you can please go to frank and uh, sign up for the email list. Um, and you can also like this video, leave a comment if you have any questions, share it on whatever social media you have access to. But uh, thanks for joining, guys, and I will see you tomorrow.